friends with Mike Brass. You've been with him a long time, and that had to be a difficult decision, but you have to do what's best for the Navy football program. What, what kind of went into your thinking there? Well, it's one of the hardest decisions I've had to make. You know, with, with Mike, like I said, good friends with him, and it's, that was a hard deal. Um, but I've watched, you know, Fitz over the last couple of years, and, you know, I just watched what he does. You know, I see how the kids respond to him. And it's, this has been uh, going for a couple of years, and um, after not getting the Commander Chief Trophy, it's just something I felt like I had to do. All right. Well, that kind of dovetails into my next question. What did you see in Brian? Because obviously you would not have made this move if you did not think you had someone that you really trusted. Um, you obviously, you just like you said, you saw something in Brian that, that led you to think uh, this guy could be the, the head man. Great energy. He knows what he does, what, he, you know, what he's doing. Uh, the kids respect him. Uh, he's a guy that works out on the on the floor, and so everybody when he says something they're gonna follow because he could actually do it himself. Right. So you know when a guy's still on the floor doing stuff, uh, I think it lends to you know guys following you more, and so it, that was just you know because our guys come in and they'll see Fitz doing the workouts, along with you know Coach Miller, you know he still works out and you know some of the guys. I just feel like it's a young man's game. Yeah, you know, I was just gonna just say. A, that. Just it's a you know in the summer. It's a it's a long profession, man. I mean, in the summer when the rest of the coaches are um, off, yeah. off. I mean, it's the coaching staff. I mean, the strength staff's there. You're here all summer in the heat. Nobody's around. You know, what I mean, it's, you got to be highly motivated, and you got to bring energy every day. Right. And and Brian's the same every day. High energy brings it in the weight room, and I just wanted that energy to you know to transfer over to our guys, and so. Those are the reasons. He's been in a variety of places. He spent time at Penn State. I mean, obviously, he learned when he was West an Virginia. undergrad at Towson by, as a football player himself. And he said, that's when I first learned how to lift properly. And then went to Penn State for a while, was with the Vikings. So I mean, West Virginia. Yeah. The, I, in a way, he brings some experience. Maybe some new ideas are, are good, right? Fresh ideas? Well, it's not just him. He And he's been here for a while. So he's brought a lot of good ideas. Some of our speed stuff he's done. Coach Miller has come. Brian Miller's a, a great strength staff. He was a head strength coach at Oregon State for almost a decade. A long experience there. Cliff Duman, you know, he's on staff here. Cliff Duman is one of the best strength coaches in the country. Mm -hmm. He's been here for many, many years. You know, Alex Lee, um, another really good strength coach, really good Olympic lifter and teaching it. So I think we have a really good balance of guys. You know what I mean? With Cliff, overall, um, Alex Lee, great in Olympic stuff. Fits great energy, great football conditioning, um, you know, overall stuff. And Brian Miller, just with his experience and being at a different place, I just thought, you know, all four of them come from different viewpoints, so mm -hmm. it can kind of mesh into one. But I was really happy with, you know, the way our guys look. I mean, we came back bigger, stronger. I was going to say, I was telling somebody, you guys look jacked. I mean, I we, we, look, some... we look really, really good. But now we got to get in football shape. You right. know what I mean? And so, you know, you run and sprint and stuff like that, and I'll see it and change direction. But it's nothing like that. Right, right. So we got a month to do that. But I couldn't be more pleased of where we were at physically to start camp. So, I mean, I know you You go and kind of oversee. When, when you're here, you go and look and see what they're doing. What, what did you see in there? Just guys getting after it? Really excited. Uh, the whole month of June, watching our guys work out, I couldn't be more pleased. Again, but it starts with the strength coach, the strength staff, their plan. It's just every year we're tweaking it. You know, I just and if, if somebody saw us work out, there's so many moving parts. Mm -hmm. I mean, just so many different things that we're doing. Don't want to disclose all the stuff we're doing, but right. we're we're cutting edge, man. It just mm -hmm. just with all the new things. I mean, I go ask, what is that? Mm -hmm. You know, I've. I know it doesn't look like it, but I've lived weights my whole <laughs> my whole life, and I see some of the stuff they're doing and some of their ideas. Right, it's new to you. Yeah, so I'm just really, really excited, uh, just their thought process, why they're doing things, and I'm excited. A story about the strength staff and Coach Fitz taking over, and just kind of tell me as a senior veteran guy, what you have you seen some change? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the biggest change I've seen is when within the team, you know, guys are looking bigger, they're looking stronger in the weight room, pushing up more weight, they're running better. I mean. With all the things, it's just a minute change with the strength staff, but you can really tell the difference in what's going on with our guys. So, I, you know, Coach, I talked to him this morning, Coach Fitz, and he said y'all were joking. He calls it Ohio Holsey Penitentiary because it's got the, the <laughs> fence around it and it's hot in there. And, yes, you know, it, 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 but Coach Nehemiah said, you know, he, he was worried about that at first, but now he thinks it's kind of good because it's toughening guys up. Do you, do you kind of like the atmosphere over there? Uh, yes, sir. We agree with it because, you know, we pride ourselves in our toughness and presented with a hard situation with the um, – 
you know, the adjustments they're doing to the Ricketts, we wanted to embrace the uh, the hard theme that gave us the humidity and the jailhouse feel. So guys really like like that and carried the energy into the weight room. And so, I mean, obviously, I mean, you look stronger and you're a senior. You think normally by this time you've oh, maxed, yeah. you've hit the peak. But I mean, I, I've been telling Strasser, I, everybody looks pretty jacked. I mean, is that, that's got to give you some confidence when you look around and you see guys all pumped up. Yes, sir. I think guys were just most excited to get back out here and see what he can do on the field instead of just in the weight room. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely a prevalent thing. That's what we're excited about now. So is it just the energy that the staff brings? I mean, it seems like these guys are kind of in your face and really pushing. I mean, they're they're not just reading your thing. You do 20 weight deadlifts of Williams and then walk away. <laughs> they're, they're there yelling at you and telling you to get it up, right? Yes, sir. Just like, you know, we hold accountability with, with each other. The strength staff does the same thing for everybody in the room. And we're doing a little story about the strength staff and Coach Fitzpatrick, and he's you know brought a new energy. Um, you know, being a younger guy and kind of getting your first taste of it, this new staff, what, what was it like this summer, this off season? Uh, it was awesome. I mean, they bring a lot of energy. They're young. You know, they connect with you. Uh, Coach Fitz, he was a player himself, so that really helps when you're working out. And, like, he, he sees things that directly correlate, so it helped a lot this summer. So being a big offensive lineman, you probably pride yourself on being strong and feel like you've always been strong, but have you? did you realize maybe you weren't as strong as you could be? You had not reached your max potential? Yeah, absolutely. One of the biggest things he stressed was, uh, like, pausing on every rep at the top and the bottom of everything. So that like helped a lot with just just pausing on everything and you know pushing your pushing your weight so i mean do you feel quantifiably stronger i mean if you absolutely able to, measurables to say i'm benching more i'm squatting more and all absolutely that? i mean especially like with cleans just our explosiveness i mean it all transfers from like our running our hip mobility just into like power cleans and stuff like that it all connects it was, it was great so i mean the football's not one in a weight room but it can help you i mean what, do you sense that it can help you on the field? Are you already feeling like you're getting, you know, whatever the strength helps you in your job as an offensive lineman? Do you sense that it's helping? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially for the guys up front, it's all about getting the push. So, I mean, strong legs, strong arms. I mean, you're going to get a bigger, uh, like a bigger guy on you, and you got to move a guy from point A to point B. And so that's the name of the game for us up front. So being stronger, it's, it's, all, it's a lot what it's about. So I, I get a feeling that it, these coaching staff was, you know, they're not easy on you, and I bet there's some times when they, Told you, Forney, you gotta work harder, get that next lift up. I mean, did you have some times when they really got uh, got after you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with the big guys, they really, I mean, like I said, they stress the pausing. So we like to kind of speed through our, our bench press and stuff like that. So they stress that a lot. But especially with our conditioning, I mean, making every time, that's what they're they're really big on that. So. Hey, well, I'm doing a story about Coach Fitzpatrick and the strength staff as a whole. I've heard a lot of good reports about what they did in the off season. I'm looking around and seeing guys look pretty jacked up. Your thoughts on what happened during the off season working with the strength staff? Uh, yeah, Coach Fitzpatrick changed the whole like off season. You know, he really pushed us starting from ground zero to like just body weight stuff, mm -hmm. all the way up to maxing. And um, you know, he brought the intensity, intensity along with his strength uh, staff and like with the conditioning. And then he just pushed us, and I feel like we came in great shape. We had 6 a.m. morning runs on Friday, which we run mile and a half to the hill, do the hill, run a mile and a half back. And I think he really emphasized on conditioning and get us in shape. And also with the strength part, I feel a lot stronger. You know, we started from zero. And now we're all up. I'm stronger than I've ever been coming uh, out of the summer, and I'm very happy about that. Any like measurable things in terms of what you're lifting? Are you lifting 50 pounds more on bench press or 45 more on squat, anything like that? that um, I don't know specifically, but I know like since I've been here, this is the strongest I've been. And even in high school, I didn't even – get close to this way so I'm very impressed I'm glad coach Fitzpatrick took over and doing a great job and we're still lifting hard in the uh, regular season you know he's not trying to let us lose that muscle mass so mm -hmm. it's been a great experience and I'm glad you know he's a, he's a strength coach now. Well coach Nehemiah might have said he's brought some innovations I mean I, th I think you found that if they're from your first couple of years that things are a little different they're maybe doing some different lifts or different styles I mean it's, it's a little bit different isn't it? Yes it's, it's he's changed it you know every year but um, this year we've really harped on you know, with last year losing in, uh, late in the fourth quarter, you know, being conditioned, well in shape, being stronger, you know. So he took it and uh, with Coach Fitz and um, his strength staff, he's really harped on getting stronger and then being in shape. And that's even without in the field today, you know, we're defense is running pursuit. Like we're always trying to get in that football shape and be able like to not even have 11 guys come off the field. Mm -hmm. he re so when it gets down in late in December, when we're playing Army, you know, we're not flinching at all. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to flinch at all this season. So we expect to see Jackson Pittman throwing centers around like incredible Hulk, just tossing them aside. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs>